Five anthropologists had to answer three questions. Were fragments found in the defendant's fireplace burnt bone? Were they human or non-human? And where in the skeleton did they come from? Human remains expert number one, Dr. Julie Roberts, said she was confident that one of five fragments was from a human skull after comparing it to bones from 14 other animal species. A second fragment, she said, showed human skull features consistent with a younger individual. More widely, Dr. Roberts told the jury that from her experience of cremations, she expected to find other remains, such as facial bone and traces of teeth, if a whole skull had been burnt. Anthropologist number two, Linda Aizkoff, recalled finding 16 burnt bone fragments in the fire ash, 12 of which, she told the court, were very, very small. Two appeared more cranial than not, and six were, she thought, from any part except the head. None, she told the jury, could be determined as human or not. Expert number three, Professor Holger Schutkowski, said the bone found was from a human skull, with evidence, he suggested, hinting towards it coming from a child. A fourth anthropologist, Professor Christina Cataneo, said she thought the fragments were human. But the fifth, Professor Susan Black, called by the defence, said although the fragments were burnt bone, she could not confirm what they came from. She said the other experts suffered from confirmation bias, having found evidence that fundamentally supported what they're saying. Defence counsel Brendan Kelly QC told the court that Professor Black was even less confident than other experts that the fragments were from a human child. So four opinions in one direction, one in the other, highlighting the shifting sands of scientific thinking. What the jury make of this evidence we wait to see as the trial of Mark Bridger into the alleged murder of Welsh schoolgirl April Jones continues. Five anthropologists